Hi all, welcome to Santa Kilan. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Particular kind of a system that is nothing but known as the IoT, known as Internet of Things. Today uh, we will be completely seeing rolling towards. So just follow the commands. CD TMP means for temporary. So hereby it is not getting installed uh, due to this OS issue. So now uh, let us check our particular function whether it is enabled or not. So CD it is nothing but change directory. Many of them will be having that particular doubt. So sudo rm. So from that we have to work with our user function. So after getting into the user, we have to go for our library which is situated in local so our library name is gpio so user local bin so this will be our particular integrations for gpio purpose wherever we are working with the gpio so to work with the script uh, with that particular python parts so for this particular functions and all we will be working with this kind of uh, integrations only now the same thing we can also change with the help of wiring.py So just let me refresh it. So here we can test our PHP. For that we have to get into the particular function which is known as VAR. So inside VAR we have to go for www then HTML and only inside this we will be able to work with the PHP. Other than that wherever if you write the code it is not possible to work at all. So for this what we have to do means we have to get a pseudo access. So we will start a fresh terminal, sudo space cd, no need sudo first, we can directly go with uh, cd space slash var slash www, only 3w should be there and uh, html. Now we have got access to that particular folder from this we have to provide the sudo command sudo and one more important thing like notepad here we have leaf pad ok sudo leaf pad whatever the name you are providing dot php must be there for here example gpo dot php enter now the leaf pad will be opened so similarly uh, i have all that particular codes inside a previous php file so that code now i am just going to take it into my gpo.php so why means uh, inside the php we have some technical issues what are those issues means very simple we won't be able to find the error at all wherever the error is being occurred 
that cannot be found inside this PHP. So that will be the first thing. Okay, then the next thing is here we have no need to uh, go for any kind of indentation like that kind of functions and all no need. And it is very easy. And from that particular name filling file, everything must be in a clear way. So clear way means the name whatever we are providing for this particular file the same name only here we have to implement reason is whatever we are pressing the button inside a browser that comes under the action only for this particular name onto this particular device as a access why means inside the VAR folder only all the Apache server will be automatically login towards it so that is the main part over here so first like html only we have to enable the html header so the header is normally it is in viewport and with this device width according to the device or whatever we are using now i can open this particular requirement into my uh, laptop also whatever the laptop currently i am using into that also i can open this web page so according to the device the width will be automatically changed then title starting and title ending so in between provided as led control then the same thing here we can work under the head so from that particular header we have closed it because this particular portion only comes with the header of the code like uh, initialization we can say then comes with body so body means here we are going to work on the web page on php based gpio control so onto that particular GPO only we have worked with all the home bridge like that kind of functions and all. Then after that once when we are working on this we have to get it in the form of form. Even in HTML also we have got in the form of form only. Okay form here get. So whatever the action we are going to provide the web browser it is going to get the data. Okay so here by input type submit if you are providing the word as submit means it is taken as button so the name of the button is led on whenever you click on led on what should be going it is on message should be passed similarly input submit value led off name equal to off and don't forget to provide the angular brackets and therefore the form has been closed now the php function starts so this is the method to start the php so inside php set mode it is nothing but our gpio dot set mode the same function only gpio dot set mode shell execution whatever the data we are providing it is executed in the shell so inside user local bin gpio hyphen g mode 17th bin is taken as out okay then similarly if is set if the set is going to get the value as on then shell execution g write as 1 so the 17th pin will be turned on as 1 because led is on the same thing else if is set dollar underscore get off if the message is getting us off then shell execution g write 17 as co so here 1 and 0 only we are supposed to provide led is off this echo stands for printing the data so for printing purpose only here we will be working it now i am just uh, saving press ctrl s and save now you can close it now we can just log in towards so first we have to enter the IP address 192.168.0.149 that will be the IP address from this whatever the web page I am going to call it is gpio.php if there is any error inside the code it won't display the web page onto the browser itself now here we don't have any of the errors so it is completely we are getting LED is on LED is off. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel.